Hello everyone, welcome to Papaw's Projects. Today I'm going to work on a little project and I thought I would bring you along and show you what I've learned on taking a 2D image and converting it into a 3D model in Blender. So stick around. All right, before we get started, let me say that if this is your first time to my channel and you like the content I'm putting up, or if you know anyone who could benefit from the content that I'm putting up, I would appreciate it very much if you would share these videos with your friends and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to get notifications, go ahead and ring that bell and you'll receive a notification anytime I upload new content or do a live stream. All right, so now let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do, if you've seen my last video, I made a stencil. I designed it and I used the processes that I learned to convert a 2D image into a 3D model and I used that model to create the stencil and printed it out. So we're going to do the same thing today but I thought I'd bring you along as I do it. Now we're not going to make another stencil. This time what I'd like to do is kind of go the opposite direction and I want to make a stamp. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm trying to prove to my wife that there are many practical applications for a 3D printer and I want to pick things that I have to design so that I learn new processes I don't want to just download things from Thingiverse I want to be able to create my own things and print them out and be something that me or she can use around the house or wherever so we're going to make us a stamp today and we're going to see how that works. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is we need to pull up an image editing program that will allow you to save the image as a scalable vector graphic, SVG. Um, I use Inkscape mainly because it's free and it's a very powerful uh, image editing tool so that's what we'll be using today but you can use whatever you're used to as long as it will be able to save the image as an SVG so here we are in Inkscape and the first thing I gotta do I've picked out an image let's see if I can find it let me go open and desktop and oops Let's go stamps and stencils. Okay, and we're gonna go with this chicken outline. Okay, let's bring that up. Now, hopefully you can see that. And let me make it a little bit smaller. Well, it went way big. Okay. So, here's what we have. And it's just a rough black and white little outlined image. Um, but this is what I want for a stamp. I want all these to be high places that will pick up the ink or paint. And I'll be able to stamp this image on wood products. Um, well, anything really. Uh, but a lot of what me and my wife do is wood crafts and antiques and furniture repair and, and things like that. Uh, we make these projects and then we sell them in an antique mall up the road. So she, what got me to thinking about this was the other night we were watching a video and they came on with these, um, I think they were IOD brand stamps and she said she wanted to buy a set of these stamps and 
I got to looking and these stamps cost about 20 bucks for a set of little rubber stamps that you cut up and peel off and and do your projects and I think there was like 10 stamps in there so you know that's like two bucks a stamp and knowing what I got in my stencil I can make these stamps for pennies so there's one practical benefit right there is the fact that it's gonna save money and uh, the ability to be custom to exactly what I want so we are going to take this image and let me select it and then once I have it selected what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to path and I'm gonna tell it to trace the bitmap okay and it's a black and white image I'm gonna tell it to trace it by color I don't need multiple scans because it's not multicolor. I'll leave I'll give it an extra scan there just to be safe and I'm gonna take off smooth I'm gonna take off stack the scans and I'm gonna tell it to remove the background and then I'm gonna turn on the live preview so I see what I got okay and I'm gonna tell it to trace all right now if I've done that right now this is only my probably my third time through this stuff so bear with me but I think we're good if I take this and I drag it out of the way yep okay now I have a copy um, let me go over here and I'll blow these up and you will see the blurry edges the pixelated edges of this one this is our original this is just the JPEG file so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna delete it and then I am going to get my view back down where we can see the whole image and then I'm going to move this back onto the page I think I'm going to crank it up a little bit I'm holding the control button down so that it stays proportionate I don't stretch it or skew it in any way well there we go alright so there we go we have taking taken the JPEG image traced it and that gives us what we have here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to save as an SVG file in the stamps and stencils folder and I'm going to say save. Okay, so there's the first step. That was pretty easy. Let me close that down. And now the next step we need to do we've got it saved as an SVG we need to switch over and bring up blender and let's go over to blender and then we'll pull that image in hopefully it's coming up yes okay so now we're going to go in blender and we're going to go up here to file and we are going to import scalable vector graphic SVG and we're going to find it and there it is chicken outline 2 SVG and we're going to import it now hopefully everything worked and we have a chicken laying here and we do okay so now one thing I found on the uh, other project is sometimes you get some stray vertices I guess in here and I can tell I probably have some by these little white dots so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my image 
let me rotate this in the x-axis and I did that by hitting R X and then 90 and hit enter okay so I've rotated my image up let's see if I can there you go and there you can see the image but you can also see some of these vertices that are left over I'm going to clean those up before they cause me problems later so I'm going to slide this over out of the way and now I am going to while in object mode I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit B for box select and I'm going to include all those little dots in my box and there they are they're selected and I'm going to hit delete and enter uh oh I messed that up that's okay I'm going to hit control and Z and bring them both back if you see there what I did was I left this selected and I added this to it I don't want to do that so let me try that again okay I'm going to get in here a little closer and I'm going to hit A to deselect all first now let's try it let's say B and draw my box and there they are now let's delete enter okay so now I've got my chicken so we're coming along now let me get a side view here I'm gonna switch from the perspective view to the ortho view by hitting the 5 on the number pad that just kind of squares things up a little easier to keep track of while I'm changing the model okay and let me hit number 1 no number 3 yeah number 3 now there's there's a chicken there you can't see it because it's paper thin and we're looking at it from the edge of, a, of the paper so I should be able to select it by clicking on it if not I could have come up here and you see where it says curve 001 that is our chicken okay now we have the image in here but that's all it is it's an image so the first thing we have to do is convert it from an image to a mesh for the model so that we can edit it and you do that by hitting the alt button and holding it down and then hit C and then we come down here where it says mesh from curve meta surf or text when we click on that that should have given us an uh, model a mesh model and there it is and it should also be curve CU path okay so anyway there is there is our mesh okay so let's go back to the side view and what I want to do is I want to extrude this into a 3d model so I'm going to hit tab which puts us in edit mode I'm going to hit a which selects all now I'm going to hit E for extrude and then I'm just going to hit the right arrow button several times and that's going to give me some depth to my model and then I'm going to hit enter okay now we should have and we do a 3d model okay it's looking good so far now if I want to make any adjustments to it this has become my friend right here this little screen that pops out the transform okay 
Um, let me go back to the side view there and I believe it's the Y point two no nope, that's not what I want control Z will take us back so we're gonna go to the Z negative point zero two let's say negative point zero five and that made it stand up a lot taller okay now we've got nice high standoff there okay so let me bring this back let's take it out of edit mode by hitting tab all all and Let's drag it back over here. Now I'm going to lay it back down. So I am going to say rotate X minus 90 and then put it back on its back like it was when we started. And then I'm going to bring it above the plane. So now if we look at it from the front view, which is number seven on the keypad, we see our chicken. I'm going to kind of center this thing up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to hit three and bring it right down to the plane. Now let's actually let's take it up and leave a gap there. Okay. All right. So you can toggle between seven is front view. One is the side view, three is the other side. So, and if you want the other three sides, you can hit seven with the control button down, and you look at the bottom, and one and three looks at the other sides. So, we have our chicken. Now, I want to make it into a stamp. So we need to give it a solid backing plate and attach it to the backing plate so that when we print it, when it's all done, I can put a handle on it and use it as a stamp. So let's go back to the side view. I hit one and we are going to add our backing plate. So I'm going to tell it to create a cube and I'm going to scale the cube down so that it is slightly bigger than the chicken. Let's go back to the top view. Let's go to the front view. Okay. So now I want to make this cube a lot shorter. So I'm going to say scale S and then I'm going to say Z so that it only scales in one direction. Okay. And there we go. Now let's go back to the top view. There's our chicken. And let's scale in the X. Actually, that's pretty good. And we're going to S Y for scale in the Y. And that's pretty good. And now let's drag it up a little bit. So this will give us something for all of these walls to stick to. Now let's go back to the edge view so we can see now that you notice they are not touching. So we're going to bring this cube up to the plane and I want the cube to actually overlap the chicken. I want them to be uh, touching each other because I want to join them. Alright, so let me go back to the side view and 
if I go to the chicken and I go to the cube now we're going to tell blender to make these two items as one so let's see do I want to add the chicken to the cube or the cube to the chicken I don't guess it really matters uh, all right we'll start with the cube and we're going to go to this wrench and we're going to do add modifier boolean modifier and then we're going to tell it union so that each item that is touching this that I tell blender to attach which we only have the one which is the curve the chicken that we created I'm going to click on it and it accepted it so now we're saying take the cube and make it union with the curve and we're going to say apply and there it is it accepted so now we have the curve and the cube but we also have a joint combination of the two so we are going to separate the two by dragging one away okay now we have two versions we have one that is a combination of the two and then we have this which was a leftover piece we can now delete this and we are left with our stamp okay and let's drag it back over here into the center and take a look at it I think it looks pretty good now we're going to let's scale it up just a little bit while we're here scale in all all the axis and just make it a little bigger and let's take a look at it there we go so if I take and look at the back what I'll do is I'll print this this piece will be down on the hotbed and I will print it and then when I'm done I will take a piece of wood or uh, maybe like a wine bottle cork or something and I will glue it to this to give me a little knob and I will have a stamp for a few cents instead of paying twenty dollars for a small little pack of them so that is what we have for designing my stamp we took the 2d image we went in to Inkscape converted it to a path and saved it as an SVG so we could scale it then we imported it into blender and extruded it into a 3d model and now we are going to save it as I'm going to go ahead and save the blender file let's call it chicken stamp we're going to save it into stamps and stencils save as a blender file and Dixie get down Dixie and then we are going to go up here and export it as an STL file still says chicken stamp STL into stamps and stencils and we're going to say export and there we are okay so there's the process I had to look all those things up as I made my stencil the other day 
and I've practiced with them a little bit and it doesn't take long for you to start getting the hang of it and it, it's getting to where I can do it pretty smoothly now so and it should just get better but that's what we have today I will get this queued up and I will print it out now I don't have any flexible filament right now I've only got the one roll of PLA filament so I'm gonna go ahead and print it out in PLA just to test my design and and kinda of see as a prototype make sure I like it and then when I do get the flexible filament I'll reprint it so that I can make it into a usable stamp but I will print it out and when I do I'll put it up in the next video to show as a practical print and how it turned out so thank you very much for joining me as we go through this process I appreciate it and I hope that uh, you'll get something from it and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you check back often I'm going to continue to make um, a couple different series I'm still going to continue working on my big printer which I need to design the next part uh, and I'll video that and then I'm also going to do the uh, the series on practical prints as I come up with those and also this series on blender basics as I learn new things so surely there's something in there for everyone and I'm definitely going to learn a ton of stuff so I'm enjoying every minute of, of it, every minute of it so Again, thank you for coming, and please hit the subscribe button and share the video with anybody you think that might benefit, and I will see you again soon in the next video. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.